Imagine discovering that the motor oil in your vehicle, whether it's 0W20 or 5W30, could determine if your engine endures for half a million miles or fails prematurely around 100,000 miles. This isn't exaggeration. It's backed by solid evidence. Through an extensive evaluation involving 50 engines carried out by unbiased laboratories and confirmed by leading car manufacturers, the distinctions between these oils go far beyond their designations. They impact fuel efficiency, component degradation, internal cleanliness, and even how much oil the engine uses up. Surprisingly, a lot of car owners and even certain technicians continue to select the inappropriate option. In this discussion, we'll explore the underlying principles, common misconceptions, and eye-opening findings related to 0W20 and 5W30. By the conclusion, you'll have a clear understanding of which viscosity suits your motor best and why the wrong choice might be gradually harming it. Make sure to read through to the finish, as I'll disclose the specific oil grade that technical experts quietly employ for extended durability assessments, and it might contradict what your service center advises. Section 1. Decoding the Viscosity Ratings To eliminate any misunderstandings right away, let's explain what ZOW20 and 5W30 truly signify. These aren't arbitrary labels. They describe the oil's performance in varying temperatures. Breaking it down simply, the initial figure followed by W, standing for winter, indicates flow characteristics in chilly weather. A 0W rating means the oil remains more fluid in low temperatures, allowing for quicker engine turnover during cold mornings. On the other hand, 5W is a bit more viscous, requiring slightly more time to reach all parts upon ignition. The latter number, 20 or 30, refers to the oil's consistency at around 100 degrees, which is typical for an engine at full operation. A 20-grade oil is less dense when hot, while 30-grade holds a denser barrier for enhanced safeguarding under stress. Theoretically, 0W20 seems ideal for easy cold ignitions and better mileage. However, how does this lighter formulation hold up against everyday challenges like elevated heat, prolonged stops, or heavy loads? We'll investigate that next. Section 2. Insights from the Comprehensive 50 Engine Experiment A neutral testing facility collaborated with the North American Automotive Evaluation Group to perform a rigorous 200,000-mile endurance trial on 50 matching engines. 25 were lubricated with the OW20 and the remaining with 5WU30 under identical operational parameters and servicing routines. The outcomes astonished the specialists involved. Those running on 0W20 exhibited approximately 2-3% improved gas mileage in urban scenarios, yet they also displayed 42% increased abrasion on bearings and 28% greater oil usage by the 150,000 mile mark. Conversely, the 5WU30 group had marginally reduced efficiency but demonstrated notably purer internal components. Stronger lubrication during intense demands and reduced elongation and timing mechanisms. Essentially, 0W20 excels in immediate performance gains, but 5W30 prevails for sustained reliability. Veteran auto repair expert Scotty Kilmer, with decades of experience, states it straightforwardly. 0W20 suits the initial warranty phase, but for aiming at 300,000 miles or more, 5W30 proves superior. Section 3. Reasons Manufacturers Favor 0W20 Why then do the majority of contemporary vehicles, including larger trucks and crossovers, specify 0W20 on their filler caps? It boils down to regulatory pressures from authorities. U.S. Corporate Average Fuel Economy, CAFE, mandates impose penalties on companies if their overall vehicle efficiency falls short of required levels. Adopting lighter oils, Fleetwide enhances average fuel performance, avoiding substantial financial penalties. In a 2018 engineering advisory, Toyota acknowledged this, noting that thinner formulations are chosen mainly for mileage advantages. For demanding operations or tough usage, denser options could enhance lifespan. In essence, they're aware that heavier oils offer superior defense, but they prioritize the typical consumer's preference for minor efficiency improvements over long-term engine health. What remains unspoken is that in regions like Japan and Europe, durability evaluations frequently utilize 5W30 or 5W40, 
North American variants, however, stick to the slimmer 0W20 to comply with local environmental and performance standards. Section 4. Ideal Scenarios for 0W20 and its Limitations Certainly, 0W20 has valid applications, but only in suitable environments. Opt for 0W20 if your area experiences frequent sub-freezing temperatures below 0 degrees C, your trips are generally brief and without heavy cargo, you adhere strictly to oil replacements every 5,000 miles or less, and your vehicle features modern designs with precise tolerances, such as those from brands like Toyota, Honda, or Mazda. Under these circumstances, 0W20 minimizes initial resistance and promotes rapid circulation. Steer clear of 0W20 if you operate in warm or arid regions, regularly pull trailers, carry loads, or navigate steep terrains, your mileage exceeds 100,000, or you engage in spirited driving, often surpassing 3,000 RPM. In such situations, the fragile lubrication layer can degrade, resulting in insufficient protection and potential direct component friction. Perham Soil's 2022 laboratory analyses, 0W20 in boosted engines thinned to an equivalent of 18 grade after merely 7,000 miles, a level that's perilously inadequate. Section 5. Debunking the notion that slimmer is always superior. Promotional campaigns often claim that less viscous oils decrease drag, but that's an incomplete picture. Although lighter oils do circulate more swiftly, they don't necessarily provide optimal separation between surfaces. Critical to this is the boundary layer, the ultrafine coating that prevents metal-to-metal -metal interaction, which relies on the oil's robustness rather than mere fluidity. Key factors include inherent thickness and anti-wear compounds like zinc diolkildothiophosphate ZDDP. Lower density means greater dependence on these enhancers, which diminish more rapidly. Consequently, after about 5,000 miles, typical 0W20 variants lose around 40% of their protective additives, whereas 5W30 preserves the majority. Put simply, lighter lubricants degrade quicker, potentially compromising engine integrity over time. Section 6. The Overlooked High Temperature Areas That Degrade Light Oils one detail rarely shared by producers is the presence of extreme thermal zones within today's motors, particularly around the piston seals and cylinder linings, where heat can surge beyond 260 degree X in fuel-injected or forced induction setups. ZW20 begins to falter in maintaining its barrier at roughly 230 degree X, based on ASTM D46683 protocols. At that point, subtle surface interactions commence accelerating deterioration dramatically. Disassembly images from the 50-engine trial illustrated this starkly. 0W20 samples revealed noticeable scoring on pistons and buildup of residues near sealing areas, while 5W30 units remained pristine with unbroken lubrication films post-intensive stress simulations. The explanation lies in layer depth. At standard running heat, 5W30 creates a shield about 35% more substantial than 0W20. This seemingly minor variance translates to crucial separation in the confined engine spaces, averting abrasion. Intriguingly, in electrified hybrids that cycle on and off repeatedly during travel, 0W20 faces additional strain from frequent restarts, lacking immediate full pressure. This prompted Toyota to subtly suggest transitioning to 5W30 in hybrids beyond 100,000 miles, despite manual recommendations for 0W20. Section 7. Issues with Oil Usage and Chain Degradation If your vehicle seems to deplete oil more rapidly, particularly midway through service intervals, it's a legitimate concern. Contemporary motors on 0W20 frequently exhibit elevated evaporation rates under thermal stress. Laboratory data from JASO M366 indicates that 0W20 can evaporate up to 13% of its volume in 10 hours at 200 degrees compared to just 6-7% for 5W30. This lost material doesn't vanish. It circulates via the positive crankcase ventilation, depositing residues on valves and obstructing exhaust systems. Additionally, thinner formulations exacerbate wear on timing chains. A 2020 Nissan service notice, NTB2039, reported, that prolonged 0W20 usage in pressurized engines caused chain extension up to 2.5 millimeters over limits, 
leading to synchronization issues and uneven running. Adopting 5W30 promptly reduced progression, as it better sustained tensioner hydraulics. Therefore, if you detect startup noises or subtle clattering, it could stem from inadequate lubrication rather than mere age. Section 8. Challenges for boosted motors under intense conditions. Forced induction systems turn oil into a survival test. Turbines rotate at speeds exceeding 150,000 RPM, relying heavily on lubricant for cooling and support. This demands resistance to thermal breakdown and oxidation while preserving integrity amid pressure. Zero W20 manages light turbo applications, but in warmer areas or during extended high-speed runs, it often reduces to 1618 grade within 3,000 miles. Such thinning impairs bearing cushioning, risking overheating, lubricant deprivation, and component failure. Owners of models like Subaru WRX or Ford EcoBoost on 0W20 can attest to frequent issues. In contrast, 5W30 synthetics, particularly those with premium group IV or V bases, hold steady up to 250 degree. Leading turbo producers such as Garrett and Borg Warner advocate at least 30 grade for prolonged turbine health. Section 9. The understated alternative preferred by specialists. Now for an under-the-radar option that many technical professionals favor in endurance evaluations, 0W30. This blends the low-temperature ease of 0W20 with the thermal resilience of 5W30. Findings from Lubrizol's 2019 anti-wear research showed 0W30 yielding 29% reduced degradation versus 0W20 with only a negligible 0.3 mpg drawback and comparable cold-weather behavior. Numerous European brands, including Audi, BMW, and Volvo, standardize on 0W30 for both standard and enhanced powertrains. For those in variable climates with occasional demanding use, a synthetic 0W30 could offer an optimal balance. Section 10. Guidelines for Selecting Appropriate Lubricant Picking the right grade extends beyond the filler label. It's about aligning with your usage patterns. Here's a reliable framework employed by seasoned technicians and designers. Review your manual for allowable ranges, not solely the primary suggestion. Many permit 5W30 for strenuous or warm conditions. Adapt to your environment. For sub-7 degree CX winners, choose 0W20 or 0W30. Mild ranges from 7 degree CX to 32 degree CX suit 5W30. Hotter zones or heavy duties call for 10W30 or 5W40 synthetics. Ensure compliance with standards like APISN, ILSEC GF6, or ACEA A5B5 for current motors. Prioritize full synthetics for extended periods as they better retain properties and withstand degradation in narrow channels. Reserve high mileage variants for leaking or consuming engines since their conditioners might overly affect intact seals. Final insights, the unspoken realities from producers. In summary, 0W20 prioritizes mileage while 5W30 emphasizes endurance. Companies promote 0W20 to align with efficiency regulations, not optimal motor welfare. For temperate to warm areas, intensive driving, or long-term ownership beyond 150,000 miles, upgrade to full synthetic 5W30. You'll likely experience quieter operation, reduced depletion, and extended service life. Share your thoughts. Which grade do you currently use? Have you experimented with alternating between 0W20 and 5W30? Did it affect performance, quietness, or usage rates? Your input could assist others in protecting their vehicles. If this was informative, check out our upcoming piece on improper engine warm-up practices that accelerate ring wear more than subpar lubrication. Like, share, and follow for more. Ultimately, your machine responds to science and care, not sales pitches.